Hi there and welcome to tutorial 46. Today we're going to be looking at some classic trance tracks like um, Barber's Adagio for Strings, which um, uh, the Dutch um, uh, DJ stroke producer did called Tiesto. And we're looking at um, Kencraft 400 by Zombie Nation and ATB, um, that's Andre Tannenberg, uh, sorry, Andre Tannenberger. 9 p.m. till I come. We're going to mix all those up together, uh, but we're going to start with this kind of string sound for the Barber's Adagio, and um, I'll, I'm going to divide that into two bits: the the melody bit at the top and the chord bit at the bottom. There's two slightly different settings, but um, I'll show you how I got that setting. So first of all, go to an initial setting. There we are. And for this, we're going to be looking at um, oscillator one, eight foot pitch. In fact, all of the oscillators are eight foot pitch. Um, we want um, oscillator one to be on a pulse wave waveform, pulse, uh, and the pulse width of that is 83. There we are. That's a, a kind of a reedy sound, but we're going to introduce some pulse width modulation in a second. Um, we'll switch oscillator 2 in, and again, the pulse width here is going to be 50. So that's kind of somewhere in the middle. And oscillator 3, pulse width 18. So that's kind of the other side of the middle. And we get a composite buzzy sound like that. Um, I'm going to use two levels of modulation on here. Um, I'm going to use both LFO1 and LFO2. So LFO1, I want it on uh, pulse width modulation. And the speed of that um, is going to be 36. So fairly slowish to get a nice sort of wash. And the depth is going to be 39. And you can hear that wow, wow, wow. Now on, on um, some other synths, that, that might sound a little bit different but that's how it sounds on the Studio Logic Sledge. Also, LFO2, we're going to also use pulse width modulation, but at a different speed. This is more like the speed of vibrato, which is 49. And for the chord setting, we're going to use a depth of 38. So you can hear that sort of whoa, 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 whoa. And it gives a kind of a chorus effect. Um, also, when we've got three oscillators in, we need to detune those ever so slightly. So, um, oscillator two, detune minus 11. And oscillator three, detune plus 11. Okay, now we'll move over to the filter section. And it's possible to set up a sound using a low pass filter, but um, just for these purposes, I've used a band pass filter on a 12 dB slope. That's, um, that kind of um, focuses on the middle frequencies a bit more um, and gives us a slightly better stringy sound. So instead of the cutoff being fully open like that, you can hear it squelching down to 71. And that's already sounding a bit more string-like. Uh, resonance 0, key track 88. There we are, obviously no drive. Looking at the filter envelope, we don't need any uh, filter amount on there. But we do, do need to mess about with the amplifier envelope. And the first thing I'm going to do is reduce velocity to 0. And for strings, we need a slow attack and a slow release. So let's have a look at that. Attack 71. So the sound fades in. But we don't want it to cut off straight away. We want it a bit of release in there. Release 77. Where are we? Come on. There we are. Release 77. So that gradually fades away. Also, to, to create a little bit more ambience, we're going to use a reverb, reverb time uh, 80. And level 63, that's kind of in the middle. So that gives us our wash for the, for 
of the um, chord sound in there for the Barbas Adagio. For the lead sound, all I need to do is alter LFO2 to be a bit deeper. Uh, and instead of it being on a value of 38, we're going to increase it to 46. So you can hear a bit more wobble. That's a bit more of a vibrato type sound for the top end. If I did that for the chords, much too wobbly. Okay, so that's uh, we're going to add that to the track and that's the, um, the string sound. So the melody is kind of doubled with um, a very sort of um, squashed up lead sound um, on a mono synth that sounds a bit like this. It follows the melody uh, in a weird kind of way like this. So I'm going to show you how I got that sound. So we'll go to an initial setting and the first thing is, there we are, it's in mono. Uh, it's a mono sound and we've got oscillator 1 on a 16 foot pitch, pulse wave 47. So not too far off square. Um, we've also got oscillator 2 on a 16 foot pulse wave. Oh no, we've actually got, a, got it on a, square, on a sawtooth waveform, there we are, with a massive detune. I'm saying massive, let's have a listen. minus 31 so it kind of puts it a little bit out of tune but also to create a bit more wobble we're going to use pulse width modulation on oscillator one using lfo one uh, pulse wave and we need um, let's have a look a speed of 58 and a depth of 32 So if I, if I take oscillator 2 out, we've got that really wobbly sound, but added, added in there, got an even more wobbly sound. Uh, we're going to go over to the filter section now. So we're only using two oscillators, but the um, filter is a low-pass filter of 20, 24 dB per octave, cut off 85. Now, that's actually made it quite mellow, uh, but we're going to introduce something else in a second, so Resonance 62. And when we put some dry... well, let's, let's do the key track. Uh, the key track is 94. And the drive is um, 38. Now, the more drive we put in, the more top end we're getting. Um, that's a bit too much and it sort of decimates the sound a bit too much so I'm going to back that off to 38 as I've mentioned before and that's uh, pretty much our sound because the amplifier envelope is the default setting attack 0, sustain, uh, 127, release um, 0 no velocity, no reverb or effects or anything that's the kind of sound And then uh, we'll move on to the next tune in the um, in the sequence. So the next tune in the uh, little ensemble here is a tune called Cairncraft 400 uh, by a uh, German band called Zombie Nation. And um, the tune actually was originally found on a Commodore 64 game. Uh, and I think that the, the uh, game was called Lazy Jones but it's the one that goes like this. So very kind of um, indicative of, uh, of trance there. So I'll show you how we've got that sound. And we'll go on to an initial setting. Uh, we're going to use all three waveforms, all three oscillators, should I say, 16 foot pitch. Um, sawtooth. So this is kind of like the classic um, super saw uh, kind of thing. Um, in actual fact, I'm going to alter one of these in a second, but uh, the second uh, oscillator is going to be detuned minus 19. That gives us a real sort of richness to the sound. But the third oscillator, instead of using a sawtooth waveform, um, let me just put the detune on there. 
plus 13. I'm actually going to use a pulse waveform. Now, the reason I'm using a pulse waveform is it's ever so slightly brighter than the um, sawtooth. There we are. So it gives a, a, a kind of a brighter sound and a, a bit more reedy sound, which makes it stand out a bit better. Um, over to the filter section, and it's one of those classic um, things where we don't actually use any filter, uh, so the filter's fully open. Uh, cutoff's one, two, seven there, so it's letting everything through. That means that we don't even have to adjust the key track. There's no uh, filter envelope amount and we're just on standard um, amplify envelope setting with velocity zero. We do, however, have some uh, reverb in there, and the reverb is time 90, and level 28. So we'll add that to the track. Etc, etc. And the third sound is the um, the ATB, uh, the, that stands for Andre Tannerberger, uh, and it's 9pm till I come, and it sounds like this. Now that was originally um, a guitar sample, but because it's been processed and things, the attack it is just just sounds a little bit less like a, a plectrum hitting a string and more like a synth. So obviously uh, I've recreated uh, that sound on the synth, and we're going to go to an initial setting. Um, both oscillators, we're going to use oscillators one and two, an eight foot pitch, both pulse wave. So oscillator one is pulse wave 73. Pulse width 73 and uh, oscillator two is pulse width 64. So the combination of those two make the sound uh, and no detune at all on these. Go straight over to the filter section. It's a low pass 24 dB per octave filter uh, and the cutoff, quite extreme, 51. Now, if I put in the envelope amount, that'll brighten it up a little bit, and the envelope amount is 28. Uh, we've got resonance 49. There we are. Key track 64, that's smack in the middle. A little bit of drive on this. 28. That brings it in a little bit more brightness and distorts the sound somewhat. Um, the filter envelope, the attack time is actually not zero, it's 34. Uh, decay 50. Sustain 80. Now it's the, the sustain that, that means that you can hear more of the sound because if I put the sustain fully up, you can hear all the sound, put it down again, it's almost like operating the filter, isn't it? So put that back to 80. And release zero. Um, amplifier envelope, velocity zero. And again, it's the standard uh, setting here. On this one, I've chosen to use a delay rather than a reverb. And the delay time is 108. Here we go, 108, at level 15. And that gives us our sound. And we'll add that to the track. <laughs> 